Hello world, this is Lockpicking Dev. Today I have a Ruko padlock. I need the key for this, so if you can find a key for this, that would be great. So I'd like to uh, see if rubber band can impression this. Anyways, this thing does have uh, some spools in it. We are at the Samuel H. Boardman Corridor in, oh, in um, Oregon, going down the coast here. Freaking gorgeous area. Let me pick this open and show you around. There we go. Nice moving on four there. Oh. I'll click on five. It's like three, but it's super stiff, so it might already be set. Oh, there we go, feedback right there. That's what we're looking for. So it's a two. There we go, and there's our open. There we are. And there we are. So yeah, if you can find this key for me, that would be great. I really want a key for this lock. I mean, come on. It's really unique too, and maybe I'll go home and show it a little bit better, but the core of this actually holds the shackle itself. You can see the shackle, usually they're round where they grip onto right there, but it's flat on the sides. And that's because when you put it in and you lock this, the back of that uh, core locks onto the shackle itself. Really cool. Anyways. Again, yeah, we're at the Samuel H. Boardman Corridor, and these are the natural bridges. This nice little overlook right here. Tried to see if there's a way down, but there's nothing to get to the beach access. In, in good old Oregon fashion, nice and moody, foggy day for it too. Alright everyone, that was a Ruko padlock. I'll be home soon to show a little bit more of that for you. And I will see you soon. All right, we're back home, and I did figure out what keyway this was. It's a Y1. How did I figure that out, you ask? Well, I stopped and I saw a rubber band on my way home and asked them if they would impression this Ruko as well as this Lockwood for me, which, as you can see, happened very fast. And so I now have a working key for this Ruko. Here's the bidding. You can see it's high, low, somewhat high, low high, not too deep. It has the classic high first pin, which I absolutely hate, but there's our lock. And the way this works is the plug reaches all the way to the back. So when we turn this, it turns all the way to the back too. You can start seeing it right there. And you can see the shape of that right there has a hole grooved into it and it turns with the key. So when it's open, it's in that position. And our shackle right here, you can see it's flat on a side. That's because one side is shaved and the other side is just normal. And so that, that shaved part right there, that thin part will fit in right there. And then we turn it to close it. So really cool. I haven't seen one of these before. It's, I guess, not too uncommon, but I think it's really cool that the, the plug holds the shackle itself. And then also, so we've got that impression by rubber band also, before we go, I have to show it off. Got this impression in the same trip is the beautiful vintage Lockwood here. And it's just absolutely gorgeous. I had no key for it before, and now I do, because it, of course, rubber band is just amazing at popping locks. And so let's also 
please, please take a second. Look at that bedding on it. And that was impressioned. That's a low as hell number one, high as hell number two, three a little bit low, and then the four and five. Great bedding. It's a Lockwood, so great tolerances. And I can only assume, I would assume, um, security pins, but I don't know. I haven't picked this yet. But uh, I can definitely tell it's going to be a little bit of a pain in the ass because classic Lockwood tolerances. And look at this bidding. But yeah, I just I had to show that off because that's great impressioning work right there. So there we are. Beautiful. So that is our Ruko. Nice vintage Ruko padlock. And that was picked at the Natural Bridges at the Samuel H. Boardman State Scenic Corridor off the Oregon coast. All right, that marks the 100th video of picking a lock on hikes. That was a personal goal of mine, and I'm I'm honestly just really excited about it. I'm not sure how many I'll do anymore. I'll probably make them more worthwhile and do some nicer locks on them. But uh, regardless, uh, it was a blast, and it made the, the hikes more memorable. Um, I can uh, look at a lot of the locks and remember exactly where, where I picked them at. It, it was a blast. And I hope it inspired some of you, everybody, to get out. Anyways, to celebrate, I wanted to do a giveaway, and I have three sets here. On the left, I have a Federal Lock SS Series 720. It is six pins. Very nice, fun lock. Uh, I have a Sergeant Lock. You have seen me just pick this one at a net lake. And then I also, with that, have a a pick a low hook this is a i believe a southward pick engraved by matt burrows and i put plexiglass handles on it with brass pins and then our middle set here our second set number two is a another pick each set has a pick with it higher profile and I have a solution for the high profile if you're not really digging that. I also have an American Lock Challenge Lock and a uh, Schleg Everest C123. The thing about these two though, I don't know if I put Challenge Lock pins in them like ones that I created myself. So uh, good luck figuring that shit out. Um, most likely six pins in that because that's usually what I did uh, when I made that in a Challenge Lock back in the day. This one I know I pinned it like an asshole. Um, I, I know there's some freaking good spools in there. I'm not sure if it's ones I made. It might be. So I remember just never wanting to touch this after I made it. So, um, good luck figuring that out as well. Don't gut it. Don't be, don't be, you know, don't gut it. Also, with that, you get another blank key with it. Ooh. Schlage ever seen one, two, three, blank key. Ooh. <laughs> uh, on the far right. We have a Mashlock Pro Series 6121, um, also six pins, because the, I went through a phase, as you can tell. Um, I wanted more of a challenge, so I added six pins in there, and I was trying to prepare myself for harder stuff. But this is one that I found on eBay, made a key for, pinned it up. Uh, there is six pins in it. Um, these are great fun locks. If you've um, been picking on American locks and you haven't been picking any um, Mashlock Pro Series yet, um, now you're kind of missing out because they're very similar. Um, more tension is needed, uh, more turning uh, pressure is needed for the Pro Series. And I believe they use pretty much the same exact pins, but often you see, I think, a little bit deeper serrations in the American locks. But anyways, back on the right here for our right lot, we have the Pro Series 6121, uh, a Pacific Lock 95G US set. Nice lock. It is a complete dead core. There is no spring pressure to that at all. Um, you, I've seen these on the U.S. Navy ships. And then also the pick that goes with that is my favorite profile. And then with each and every one of these, um, you'll be getting everything above. So I said I had a solution for this hype pick profile if you didn't like it. Everybody will be getting a set of needle files, diamond needle files. And they're a little bit larger than the normal needle files you, you find, so I, I really like those. Everybody will also be getting a set of resin plug followers that are just see-through. They are gorgeous. So everybody will be getting a set of those. Everybody will be getting a set of 
These are core holders that you can see are completely see-through. So one for American Lux size, one for standard size there. And so you can see everything that's going on while you're uh, holding your core, getting your lock. As well as if, if I get this model um, cast in silicone and get a mold made out of it and start getting that cast in resin before this uh, video, I will also include this core holder that has a sidebar slot in it but it will be as clear as this. So, um, I'm really gonna try to get that dunk. I, I, I think that'd be exciting. Oops, trying to kill my spring there. There we go, let's deal with that in a second. And then also, uh, oh, no, that's it. So yeah, each lot, one, two, three, all the above also included with each lot. If you want the lot on the left, the Federal Lock 720, the Sergeant, and the Low Hook pro Profile, Comet Sergeant. If you want the lock in the center with the High pro Pick Profile, and the Challenge Locks, Comet Challenge. If you want the lock on the, or the lot on the right with the Pro Series 6121 and the Pacific Lock 95G, and this um, DeForest uh, Offset Profile, Comet uh, Pacific. And don't forget, everybody also gets everything above. So uh, good luck to everybody. Again, um, thanks for watching. I, I really hope you enjoyed the locations, and I hope it inspired uh, some of you to get out and uh, um, really start paying attention to our Earth. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching.